Hello, I'm the Insane Retro Gamer. I review games to see if they're good or bad, and to see if they shall live or be destroyed. I am the Insane Retro Gamer. Episode 1, Dennis the Menace, for Super Nintendo. Let me out of here, let me- Oh god, not that game. Not this piece of shit. I lived with this bastard for years. This is the worst game I've ever played. The perfect analogy for this piece of shit is a dog turd encased into a Super Nintendo cartridge. That's what this game is. Oh god. And Dennis the Menace is next to the best game. The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. What the fuck are you doing near here? You're too good for this game. You! After all these fucking years, I'm finally gonna destroy you. You're gonna die today, you little fucker. Insane retro gamer. This is your god speaking. Calm down and have a seat. Alright, I'll have a seat. Put the hammer down and listen. You, you must decide if a game shall live yes. or die. What I basically am is an, is an executioner. I decide if games shall live or die. Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna have to review it first and then I destroy it? Now honestly, this game doesn't look bad, but trust me, it is. What's so fucking bad about it? The gameplay, the characters, the fucking enemies. Even Mr. Wilson. Alright, hold on. This is the first screen, and I already see a goddamn problem. Now, why couldn't we just start off with that slingshot? And just leave out the fucking water gun. I mean, the water gun is so fucking useless. See what I mean? Fucking useless. And on the artwork, he has a fucking slingshot, so why can't we just start off with that? Now, the graphics are great for a Super Nintendo game. But trust me, graphics don't make the gameplay. Gameplay does, hence the name video game. Now, let's talk about the enemies. There are so many freaking enemies in this game that weren't even in the sh cartoon or movie. Now, let's take for example, like that purple cat. That was never in the cartoon or movie. And there's so many goddamn purple cats. Mr. Wilson wasn't a cat lady or something. Where the hell did all these cats come from? Holy shit, there's so many purple cats that I'm starting to see them everywhere. Like right there. And right there. Just about every fucking where. On the couch, sofa, everywhere. I just named one enemy. There's a whole bunch of crack-headed enemies everywhere to get to. As in fish that jump out of the tank and shoot water at you. And killer record players. Yes, they literally try to kill you. Mice. Footballs that seem to bounce on their own. Boxing gloves that seem to bounce on their own too. Bats with fucking human heads. And lastly, bouncing teacups that seem to defy laws since it just sounds like it's bouncing. It should break when it lands. If you don't know what the plot is, then listen to this. The plot is, a thief stole Mr. Wilson's coins, and Dennis is helping him out by finding them. Well, guess what? 
Mr. Will- If Mr. Wilson catches you, then you lose a life. What a fucking prick. I'm helping him find his coins while he kicks me out and makes me lose a life. What a jerk off. I'm fucking done playing here. Overall, this game fucking sucks as bad as E.T. on the Atari and Superman 64. Now, as I mentioned before, this game has good graphics, but the truth is, graphics don't make the gameplay. Gameplay does, hence the name video game. And if you care about graphics more than freaking gameplay, then you shouldn't even pick up a controller. Hell, you shouldn't even know what a video game is. And the final decision, it shall DIE! Piece of shit, you're gonna fucking die. Quit to the backyard. Fucking piece of shit, you're going down right now. Leave the game. I'm zooming in. There, that's what this game is. It doesn't have anything contained in it. It's just fucking shit.